one. Well, here's a couple of cedar blanks we're going to put on the on the lathe and turn into bowls. I've already gone ahead and turned them to a, a round on the on the bandsaw. So let me show you how I did that. Well, we have this cedar blank that we want to cut into a round so we can put it on the lathe. It's going to help us balance with the balance of the of the piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to a circle using my circle cutting jig on my bandsaw. What I have here is a pin, uh, and it's on a sliding piece here. And what you do is you set it for the radius that, that you want, and then it'll give you the total diameter. So we're going to do this one at 10 inches, so it's 5 inches from the blade to the uh, blade to the pin. So what we'll do is i got a hole in the bottom of the blank that matches the pin here, so we're going to go ahead and fit that on there and then see if we can't cut it into a circle. Okay, well there we go. It's not perfect, but it's close enough for what we're going to uh, need on the lathe. So that's all there is to that. It works a lot better when the uh, the bottom are flat and the uh, uh, the pin engages fully. So, but it worked for this, so we're happy with that outcome. All right. Well, that's how I got these into the condition that they are now. Um, I got these from my friend and co-worker Ellen, uh, and it was from a tree that her mother had cut down in the Winston-Salem area of North Carolina. Unfortunately, uh, by the time I got to it, the carpenter ants had already gotten to it as well, so there's a lot of um, um, punky stuff that's, that's um, going to have to get turned away. This one uh, is bigger and needs to be. Here's the pith. We're going to have to turn that all away. Um, so putting them on the on the bandsaw and turning them around is going to help us with balance and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these mounted on the uh, screw chuck and see if we can't turn them into some kind of bolts. All right, I got the first blank mounted on the lathe on the mounted into the screw chuck. Um, as, you, as I said before, this one has got a lot of uh, punky area where the the bugs got to it. So. This whole part right here, you can't, you probably can't see it, but it, it, it needs all, this all needs to come off. Uh, so our bowl is going to be a lot smaller than we, uh, than we cut it on the bandsaw, but that's all right. We'll turn this away. Um, this will be the bottom. This side's the bottom, so it's all going to be turned away anyway. This one's got, this one has some branches that were growing out of it. Like here was a branch here, and there's a branch on the top. So that might make some interesting, uh, interesting figure in that. That's that's pretty tight there. That's not going to go anywhere. So.
Okay, what I want to do is, one well, of the first things I want to do is get this end cleaned up so we can put a tenon on it. So, it's got quite a bit of bark and stuff left on it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on chiseling away at it until I get it taken care of. I turned off most of the bark on the bottom of the blank. We got a couple of spots there, but no big deal. What we're going to do is put a uh, tenon on here now. I got kind of got that started. I'm just going to take the bowl gouge uh, and get one until we... Uh, get one that'll fit in a chuck. I got my caliper set for the right diameter here and that's a little bit too big still so we need to flatten that up and, and uh, turn that a little bit more so we can get a tenon on there. call that good. Now all we need to do is make it a little bit bigger and flatten it out a little bit more. We got, I don't know how good you can see it on the camera, but we got a tenon on there, so we're ready to uh, ready to go. We'll finish turning the outside of this bowl now. thing about cutting cedar you smell like a cedar chest when you're done so uh, you can see that this part is hopefully you can see this part's gonna come off so we're gonna go ahead and turn that all off um, shape it up and try to make it not try to make it not look like a flower pot which is what <laughs> a lot of my pieces come out looking like so we're gonna try and use some imagination and see if we can't come up with something on this particular piece wasn't overly successful in not making it look like a flower pot so we'll uh, 
we'll just have to do with what we can once it dries. Um, this part here, I'm not going to take any more off. Uh, we'll see what happens when we turn it on the inside. I think we're going to lose a lot of that. We got some parts here that are kind of punky, and then we got this where this branch was, uh, which is kind of a cool looking effect. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, turn this around, mount it on the chuck, and then start hollowing out the inside. One of the things I want to do is mark how deep I want to turn the inside. And so, what I have is uh, a long drill bit on a handle that I turned. Um, I got a piece of tape. Uh, blue tape on it for the depth that I want to uh, want to go down into the bowl. So all we're going to do is start it on low speed and just push this in here. It's not a accurate hole, but we just get an idea of uh, how deep we want to hollow out the inside. So go ahead and we can get this in there. that should do it so now when we get to the bottom where that hole's drilled we know we want to stop that'll give us about an inch of thickness at the bottom of the bowl which is what I want plenty on the outside of this bowl here so uh, we're going to go ahead and mark a line for the edge. Alright, we're going to hollow all this away but we're going to leave this outside edge. Um, well, that sure is pretty looking right there. Anyway, we're going to leave this thickness so when it dries it'll uh, we'll still have something to work with once we get it all dried up.
right, there we go. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that tree branch down in the bottom there was uh, was made it tough to turn. So, all right, we're done with this one. Let's go ahead and take it off the take it off the lathe. There we go. All right, the only thing left to do with this one before we pack it up is to weigh it. So I got my scale here, so we'll put it on there, and it currently weighs 1,225 grams. So what we'll do is take our shopping bag and we'll write the weight. 1,225 grams. Today's date, which is uh, 6 6 14. And we'll take and fill the bag up with some shavings, put the bowl in it, and we'll be good to go. We'll uh, seal that up with some tape, put it up on a shelf, and we'll leave it for a few months, and we'll get it down and weigh it again, and once it starts losing uh, weight, it'll be ready to finish turn. Well, I did actually rough out two uh, blanks on this beginning of this video, but I only actually showed turn in one. The process was the same to turn the second one, so once you've seen it uh, once, it's kind of a rinse and repeat kind of thing. So. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We'll put it on the shelves for a few months and we'll see uh, how long it takes for it to dry. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.